Hi everyone, it's Ashley Sorokis of AshleySorokis.com. I am a registered holistic nutritionist, a doTERRA diamond leader, and a holistic business coach. And I'm trying something brand new today. I am recording a video for you guys because we are in the middle of moving. You can see all the boxes around me. You can see my beautiful office that I normally work out of is it's no longer until the next few weeks. So I thought I would record a video today because there's something that, a process that I wanted to share with you, and it's much quicker for me to just record a video. I will have it transcribed later, but I have none of my fancy lights. I got boxes everywhere. We get our new house tomorrow and we're moving on Wednesday. Um, this is filmed on a Monday, obviously. So if you're getting this later, it means we're already moving. But that's no excuse. I really wanted to share this information with you today. So I wanted to share with you the process of me building my new website how long it took me and how much planning was involved. Everyone sees the finished product and they are like, oh, it's so pretty and they love it. And a few people have commented on how much content there is on my new website. And yes, it is a ton of content. And so this was a six month project. I even wrote little notes for you today of my timeline that I wanted to share. But this has been a long time in the making. This project, I have been thinking about rebranding probably since like seriously since the summer. So we're now in March of 2018. And so, oh God, I have the chia seeds in my seat. I just ate a cookie with some chia seeds in it, um, a homemade cookie. And so I'm like, oh God, I have stuff stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Doing a live video is so awkward. Um, but I've been seriously thinking about rebranding since the summer of 2017. And I needed to look at my schedule to figure out when I could fit it all in because I'm a doTERRA diamond leader. As of this moment, we have a team of over 4,700 customers. We run many, many programs and projects during the year. And I just don't have, I don't spend my full-time business just rebranding my, my website, which I'm sure is the same for all of you. If you want a new website, if you have a website, you're not happy with it and you want to work on a new one, you can't just devote full time of your business, you know, time that you have to focus on your business to your website. You need to actually fit it in around other things, seeing your clients. If you're in doTERRA or another network marketing company, there's that building that alongside of building this new website and getting all of this out. So more than likely for a lot of you, it's not just going to be a few week or a month process. It's probably going to be a three to six month process as well, which is why I wanted to share this with you. So bear with me while I share my screen and I'm going to turn around so that it's comfy for me. I'm sitting on our couch with the windows because I have no good lighting. So I'm like in the most awkward position. I don't want to record this entire video in this awkward position. So let me get turned around here. Let me share my screen. Uh, first, and I'm going to share my entire desktop so you can see everything. I'm going to hide my video panel. I'm going to shut this. So you should be able to see my screen. Let me get turned around here so I'm comfy. So you're here because if you came to my brand new website, ashleystrokus.com, you see a whole lot of content and that did not get created out of thin air. Where that actually came from was my previous Ashley Sorokis site, which included mainly my business building stuff. So all of my blog posts about how to build your business easier and with less stress, um, my links and information to my brand build blog, uh, online course that I have, of course, information to contact me. Um, and I had a few, you know, I have lots of websites with lots of free opt-ins. But I also had this other site over here, and it was at an extraordinarylife.co. And that website I had created, I think, in the summer of 2000, and I want to say 15. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was 2016. So almost, you know, about a year and a half ago. And I felt the need to separate out my health stuff from my business stuff because I thought it was confusing for some people on my email list to start seeing health stuff and then the people on my health list to start seeing business stuff on the same website. I didn't have a, a vision of merging those two. So I thought, okay, it'll be easier to separate it out. So I created this other website. I had, you know, mainly my information about essential oils. I had a few things about some detoxes, um, a few blog posts, not a lot, because I realized which is why I merged everything together again, that running two websites and two separate brands 
is literally two times the work. I don't know why I didn't understand that before I made this, but I had two social media accounts for each. So two separate Instagram accounts, two separate Facebook pages, um, two of everything, two separate Pinterest accounts. And what I was doing was I was splitting my attention between the two and I wasn't focusing on one. So both of them were kind of growing, but not growing in a way that it would have if I would have focused on it all together. So what I needed to do was I needed to merge all of the information on this health site and merge it back into the AshleySorokis.com. So here's some of the timeline and let me um, read, uh, kind of take you through this. So first things first, I hired a business coach. I have not worked with a business coach in about, I'm gonna say three years. And I decided to hire a business coach because I knew that there was going to be a way for me to merge business and health together in one site that was cohesive and where people would be like, okay, I get it. It's Ashley. That's what she does. She does all these different things. Or there was a way for me to merge it where people would be like, okay, she's talking about oil. She's talking about business stuff. She's got this branding course. Like this is so confusing. So I knew that there was a potential for it to get really messy and to not be very clear. So I needed someone who was outside of my business for me to bounce ideas off of and to work through some of these potential problems that I could foresee happening. So I actually hired, let me, sorry, I'm just got to move. I have this, um, there we go. I have this, uh, bar in the way that you guys can't see. So I hired Heather Pertansky. Pertansky. I will bring you up, um, bring it up on the Pertansky. Oh my goodness. Cannot type, cannot see. Um, so Heather, I believe it's Heather Pertansky. Oh my goodness. I'll have to another. Oh, Heather Pertansky. There we go. So this is my business coach, Heather Pertansky. She used to own a PR firm that generated millions of dollars in revenue a year. She had many, many employees and decided to let that all that go because it was just so stressful dealing with all that. She just wanted to really help people and she felt like she wasn't. So this is my uh, business coach and FYI, she literally lives down the street from me, which is so funny because I don't live in a big city. So this is my business coach. I wanted to share that with you because I knew all of you would ask. So in September of 2017, I hired her and I started working with her. And one of the first things that she had me do was this website map right here. You'll see, you probably can't read all of these little boxes with all of this text, but basically what we needed to do was to take inventory of all of the content that I already had and split that into paying buckets. So buckets meaning, um, if people were to pay me money and how I earn my money is either through my doTERRA business um, with customers, through my doTERRA business with men uh, mentoring other people in the business, or through my brand build blog program. So you'll see here we have doTERRA customers, the doTERRA business, and my brand build blog program over here. And then what, how she had me split it up is to splitting it up into support resources for people for each of those three buckets if they knew they already did have a problem and they just didn't know that there was a solution, which would be these ones down here. And then the people who didn't know that they even have a problem and I had to educate them from the beginning. So let me, um, so you can see that what I did is I have a color coded section up here. So um, the high level concept is in pink. I had already in place all of these blog posts. Then I had some things that needed to be updated. I had some things that I want to develop so that you will see that everything in the um, orange is what I will focus on over the next six months. And then um, the kind of this yellowy, greeny color is things that lead directly to sales. So how do I actually make my money? People signing up for doTERRA, people signing up through doTERRA to do the business, and then people signing up through Brand Bell Blog. So the first thing I had to do is create this bucket list. And this actually took a long time. I had to go through all of my blog post that I have on my website uh, now, which is about 35 or 40 on the business side. And I probably had about 10 or 15 on the health side. I whittled that down to only the ones that I really loved. So I had about 40 pieces of content plus some of my free challenges. So let's say 50 pieces of content that needed to be put into these buckets. Think of it like sorting your house. You have things that you keep, things that you donate, things that you throw out. That's basically what I was doing here and splitting them into ways that people paid me. And then I also had to look at it as what are the things that I like doing and what are the things I want to keep doing and what are the things that I'm ready to let go of as I'm ready for this new rebrand. So this was the very first thing that we looked at and this took like a good couple of weeks for me to create this. 
I happen to create it visually in Photoshop because I'm a very visual person. You could also do this in maybe like a screen flow, pro screen flow program. Even writing it on a piece of paper and mapping it out that way is a good way. So the next thing that I looked at was hiring out someone to do all of this for me. I considered a couple of different web developers. I knew it had to be in Squarespace. And I had about, um, I totaled it up. I think I had about, I, I quoted them 15 to 17 pages that they would have to create new on a website. I got prices anywhere. And I knew that this was not in the ball, like out of the ballpark of being out of, um, you know, this like crazy expensive project in terms of what I was asking for. But I was looking at a ballpark of $7,500 to $10,000 US. I'm here in Canada, so add another 25% onto that minimum. So I was looking at about twelve dollars to $15,000. I looked at it, and that was without any new pictures, without anything else. That would literally be just the website. And I had to ask myself, is that, is that something that I was willing to invest in? And I really wasn't. I invested $20,000 in my rebrand in 2014. And to be honest, I just paid that off, that debt off last year. I was not interested in getting myself into major debt just for a new website. And what it came down to is my husband and I try to have date nights every week. And for one of the date nights I showed him, I was kind of looking at some different options, looking at some pre-made templates. And he asked me, he said, you know what? Even if someone else made something for you, you have such a clear vision of what you want, you're probably not going to be happy with it. So why would you spend all that money if you're not 100% guaranteed that you're going to love it at the end of the day? And that's what made up my mind for me to do it myself. And so at that point, um, I still had another, a few things to do. I had some funnels. Um, so meaning that when people opted into my email list, there were some funnels where I just gave them a, an awesome freebie bonus and there was no follow-up email sequence after that. That's what we call a funnel. So I had a few, um, email funnels that I really had to work on for a couple of weeks to get those sorted out, um, which I knew was going to be used on the new website. So that's what I did in October. Now in November is when I really started doing some planning. So let me close that one right there. And I'm going to bring up my Safari because here I have, um, I have my Trello board. So in case you don't know, I wrote an entire blog post on using Trello. I use Trello for everything in my business now. And the more that I show people what Trello does, the more they're like, Oh my God, that is amazing. How did I not have this in my life? So what I did is in November, I created this Trello board called Ashley's new website. And this was going to be my hub for everything that I knew that I was going to need to have and to do to get my new website launched. And I was aiming for uh, February. I ended up launching March 1st, so they're not too bad. So what I did first is I wrote down all the pages that would need to be designed, redesigned, or brought over from my existing website. I put them all in here. And that's where I came up this list of about 15 to 20 different pages. Because you can see I have like homepage. I knew I wanted to create from scratch a new business hub and health hub, but of course there's the about me page. I had a blog for the health side, a blog for the biz side, um, essential oil customer page, essential oil business page, brand bill blog sales page, welcome page. I have training programs behind the scenes for my doTERRA business team. Um, so for November, what I focused on was I needed to finish up stage three of that business training program. It's a massive, massive training program that I have for my doTERRA team. It's free for anyone who decides that they want to do the business, but I needed to get my stage three done. So that's what I needed to get out of the way in November so that starting December 1st, I could focus just on my website for the next three months, as long as it took me to do it. So that's when I started doing this because I needed to get this planning out of my head so that I could then focus on finishing up stage three of my business training program for my doTERRA team. So then I, starting December 1st, I knew that I had somewhat of a plan and everything out of my head that had been mulling around in it for months. I wanted to get this stuff out and on paper. So November 17th is actually when I started this Trello board. The reason I know that is I could click on show menu here and what I, you click on is more and um, there's one here that says, oh, I have to, whoops, I have to stop this thing. Uh, so what I actually wrote uh, was right here where it says activity. If you scroll down and you click to view all activity, it actually shows me that you can see all the activity that I've done on this, right? Is November 17th is when I made the board and started getting all of this in here. So 
Then I already had it in my mind that I wanted to use a pre-made website template for Squarespace for making, the, for the basically the bare bones of my design. So what I did is I had a few companies that I researched that have pre-made Squarespace templates. And the one that I landed on, I wrote a blog post about this, uh, I think it was December or Jan maybe it was early January. Um, and I ended up using this one from a company called Go Live. And their website is golivehq.co. And I ended up using the radar template here. You can see that it was $299 US, but I joined their email list and I'm on their social media. I follow them on Instagram. And I saw that on Black Friday of 2017, they had a sale of 50% off. So on November 24th, which was Black Friday, I purchased this website for half off, which is pretty awesome. Um, I was really impressed with that. Um, I actually purchased another few things that day, not from this company, but from a different one for some pre-made templates because it would make my life easier and everything was 50% off. It was awesome. So that was November 24th. And I will tell you that that next week of finishing my stage three of my business training program required so much focus because all that I wanted to do was to start working on my website. I was like, oh my God, I bought the template and I have all these ideas in my head, but I knew I had to get stage three of my business training program out because that was something that I had promised my team. And when I say I'm going to do something, I 99% of the time do it. So that was November. So December is when I could start on all the fun stuff. So you'll see in Trello, uh, what I did is I wrote out a timeline for December, January, February, and this used to be March down here. We are now moving and going to doTERRA's leadership convention in March, so I know I'm not going to get very much done this month, so I didn't want to set myself up with expectations that weren't going to be met, so I moved everything to April. But essentially what I did is I started to map out what tasks needed to be done and when. So for December, what I did is I created the website map, which was very similar to that visual uh, map that I showed you with my three buckets. I knew I needed to get my branding down and write all of my copy and do a little bit of brainstorming for my photo shoot that I had booked for January 24th. So the website map, I basically needed to know and I needed to, in my mind, map out what is going to be the flow, the behavior flow of what someone's going to do when they come to my website? So now that I was having a homepage and I had these two separate areas, a health hub and a biz hub, um, or a health side and a business side, I didn't want everything mashed to together. I wanted people to be able to choose which one they were there for. If they were there for both, they could go on both sides of the website. But essentially, I wanted them, the people who were there for health, to not be confused that I had business stuff, and the people who were there for business stuff to not be confused because I had health stuff all mixed in. So this was my way of splitting it up and having people either directed from the homepage to a health hub or a business hub. The health hub would have all of my health related resources in one place and the business hub would have all the business related resources all in one place. So that's what I did first was the website map. Then I went on into my branding and I followed the same exact exercises that I have everyone go through in my brand build blog course to get your own website up. So what I did is first things first, I started with um, my brand words and a mood board. So my brand words, if we open up my Trello board here, you'll see that my brand words that I decided on that I want my business to feel like and I want people who landed on my website to feel was bold, joy, freedom, creative, and light. And it's so funny because as I started sharing my new website, people were you know, commenting on social media or sending me back messages um, on email and saying, it feels so light. And I was like, yes, that is what I wanted because that's one of my brand words. This is how you take this process and come up with a specific intention of how you want people to feel. So coming from that of wanting people to feel bold, joy, freedom, creative, and light, I then went and created a mood board. I actually started with a Pinterest exercise and grabbing images from Pinterest, but this is what I come, came up with as my mood board. So I had images that I pulled from Pinterest and other areas, and that's, to me, my interpretation of how I wanted it to feel visually to represent those five brand word feelings. And then my colors, these are my brand colors. Now I'm going a little bit more advanced, most people in my course, I only recommend to have maximum of five brand colors. I actually have 10 because I have a saturated version of the color and then I have a very soft, more um, pastel-y version of all of those colors, but they're all um, 
very similar shades to each other and you will see me use them interchangeably. But I pulled all of these colors from these pictures. You'll see that this mauve color is kind of from this picture of this beautiful pink house in France. You will see that the peach color is coming from, uh, kind of taken from a, ver a, a combination of this picture down here and kind of this peachy color up here. You'll see that this green comes from these beautiful pops of green in with these peach images. The gray, I didn't want a saturated black. I wanted a really dark charcoal gray. It looks like it's black, but it's actually a gray color. This bright pink, I knew I needed to have the bright pink that comes directly from right here. Um, but you'll see that I have these lighter images of these. I wanted that, you know, little bit, and I didn't just want everything to be pink or versions of pink or purple. I wanted that pop of that green in there and that mint color as well. So you'll see little shades of mint in here. That green also comes from this door. These were the images that I was inspired from. So then from there, um, I started working on my logo, which is actually very similar to my old logo. Um, I just kind of updated with some colors, updated the font, um, made it a little bit more graphic. And I actually kept very much the same tagline. And then here is my watermark that goes with it. So you'll see that I tried a lot of different things. I have a lot of different files that show kind of five to seven different logo variations that I considered, but this was the final one that felt most like me. I actually had some that were um, kind of triangle shaped, like kind of similar to the A and they were kind of very graphic triangle shape. And my husband actually said to me, it looks like a pyramid. And one of the things you don't want people to feel is that like doTERRA is a pyramid scheme. So maybe stay away from pyramids. And that's something that I never would have considered. So I'm really glad he gave me that feedback. But at the end of the day, what I ended up with is my final uh, brand board, which is right here. So this is what I'm calling my style guide right now, but this is what I teach in my brand build blog course. So we have my primary logo. We have all the colors here. Here are my fonts, Lado, Playfair Display, and then I have an accent font called Better Times from Creative Market. Here's a variation. I kind of go back and forth between incorporating that square outline and not. Uh, so I have two versions of my primary logo and my watermark. And then I have some examples of the photography here that I am very, those were kind of my favorite images from that mood board. So once I had my style guide and you know my colors chosen and everything, Next came the most, one of the most important parts of your website, which is the copy. So you'll see that in December, I broke down and I needed to write down um, and, and create the, right, the copy for the new about page, my new doTERRA business opportunity page, uh, the new home page, because I didn't have one there, the, the health and the biz hubs, the writing for the printables page, that's what we call copy. So what I did is I just opened up Google Document, and I started this on, I believe it was the week of, maybe I did it the second week of December, but essentially in the week before Christmas break, because I have a five-year-old and he was off from December 23rd, I think was the last day of school and was going to be off all the way until January 8th. I knew I wasn't going to be working on those days. So I needed to have my copy done before that. And then unexpectedly, right before Christmas, my dad had to go in for major surgery. So he actually went in for surgery on the uh, December 23rd. So all of a sudden, what I thought was two full weeks of writing copy turned into less than that. So I essentially wrote, here is all of my copy. This is, and how many pages is it? It's 25 pages that I wrote in you know, a very small window of time. I need a very specific kind of, area to write. I need to have open space in my calendar. I can't write in bits and pieces. I need to sit down and spend like four to six hours writing a day to really get into the groove. So I wrote all of this down. And what I was doing is I put notes in here of some design aspects that I wanted to include in each of these sections. So you'll see at the top, I put example of the website template. I linked to that go live uh, radar template that I had decided on. The top banner, I knew what I kind of wanted. I wanted to, um, you know, I put some notes here for that. I put in some notes of using some custom plugins, which again, I'll be updating my Brand Bell blog course to include plugins and to share with you all the customizations that I made on my website. But essentially, the plugins allow this area right here, some things like this where it's animated and you're here because you're craving more abundance and lightness and joy and wealth. That is custom animation, animation that I knew I wanted to have um, before I had even written the copy. So I wrote that in my copy as prompts so that I would know um, essentially in my mind because I had already made the map. 
I knew exactly what I was writing for. So I wrote all of my copy. And then for my photo shoot, I prepped for my photo shoot that week before as well. So my photo shoot is outlined on here. Um, I outlined my pictures needed. So I, the shots that I needed all, that, you know, that me with whatever props that I needed to take letterboard quotes, my shots that I needed, I created a checklist so that I could check them off the day of on the Trello app on my phone to make sure that we didn't forget anything. And outfits and ideas, I had some ideas for my outfits, but basically I created a Pinterest board, a private Pinterest board that included all of my ideas of what I wanted to, so you'll see, you guys are gonna see the back end of my Pinterest. So I have 27 public boards on Pinterest, and so that's all my public boards. Here are all my private boards that I don't share with everyone. I have so many. So here's my board that I created for my photo shoot with Heika, which ended up being booked for January 24th. So these were examples of some of the styled shoots that I wanted to take, some of the headshots that I wanted to get. And when you look at the pictures on my website, I freaking kid you not, Heika, my photographer, nailed it. She actually, it, it's funny when I look at this and it, I feel like this has come to life. I feel like I have pictures that literally were pulled from my mood board. So I created this before I went on my holiday um, for those two weeks in December and January. I sent this, I added Heika as a contributor so that she could see this. And we had a phone call about the vision that I wanted. So I had everything prepped knowing that when I came back January, which wasn't going to be till January 8th, that I was going to have ample time to envision this photo shoot because I paid about $3,000 for my photo shoot. So in, in lieu of hiring someone else to do my website for me, I decided to invest it in my photography, which I believe when you see my website, you'll see why it was worth it to invest that. I just, there's so many things that I'm just so proud of, but the pictures are definitely one of them because what is going to make your website is going to be the content, the copywriting, which is also kind of linked in with that content, but it's its own thing and the pictures. That was what was going to pull people in. So it was really important to me that I hired the photographer of my dreams, which I worked with Heike back in 2014 when I did my, you know, several iterations behind of my rebrand. So then in January came time to actually build the website before I had these pictures to go in there. And that's what we call a wire frame. So this is when I finally got to go and using this uh, demo right here, which if you view the demo for some of these, you're going to see with the stock photos that they included, you're going to see how my website used this framework, um, but I changed it slightly and of course put my pictures into it. So when you build a website without your specific content in it first, it's what's called a wireframe. Now, I don't recommend that you build a wireframe without your own copy because the copy will very much decide what kind of design stuff goes in there. Um, but you can definitely use placeholder pictures. And once you have your copy written, which is why I wrote my copy in December, so that I could build the wireframes in January. And in the first two weeks of January that I was back to work, I built my wireframes so that I could send them to my photographer beforehand and say, here's my wireframes. This is where I'm plugging in all of these pictures take a look through these pages that I've completed. And so you have an idea of how um, these are all going to fit together. So I built the wireframes in the first two weeks of January. I moved all the existing pages from my An Extraordinary Life site over to the back end of my Squarespace site. And also all of my ConvertKit emails and all of my lead boxes on my website and the thank you pages all had to be rebranded as well. So when I talk about a lead box, so if you go to um, free goodies, let's say the, or sorry, essential oils, essential oil basics. If you don't, if you're not familiar with a lead box is, it's basically any of my opt-ins. So get the checklist, 31 easy ways to use essential oils every day. When you click on that, this is called a lead box. This had to be, the colors had to be changed. Um, some of the pictures over here had to be changed. All that had to be changed. And then in ConvertKit, I have my logo at the top of all my emails and all of my auto responders. Those all had to be changed. So again, I started changing those before I had officially launched my website because, you know, it's whatever. I had them done and I needed, uh, I needed to do something in the meantime before I got my pictures back. So that was January and January 24th was my photo shoot. So January was building the wireframes, moving all my existing pages over, lead pages and convert kit rebranding. And the January 24th was my photo shoot. So then in February, I started designing my printables. 
So all of my printables, if you click on free goodies and click on printables, you'll see that I have free um, beautiful things that you can either download as a desktop background. So you'll see on the background of my computer here, this is one of my printables that you can download for free. No email or name required, you just can download them. You can also use them as the background on your phone or you can even print them out and hang them on your wall. Like uh, there are tons of free printables available everywhere. This was, I really, this is my creative outlet. I really just wanted to put these out and every month I'll be updating them and coming out with a few more every single month. So if you click on um, these, what you'll see is this is just the thumbnail, but you will see, let's say for this next stop online domination, it's gonna take you to a blog post. And then on here, you'll see there's the desktop computer wallpaper, the phone version, and then the version, a higher resolution version if you want to print it out or use it on your social media because it's a square. So it's got the, it says just click on each image, a new window will open. Oh, that's not right. I got to test this stuff out, you guys, because that's not right. But if you click on this, oh, that is not right at all. I updated all these. But either way, you would click on it. It's going to open up the image. You just right click on it, save image as, save it wherever you want, and then set it as, you know, your desktop or whatever it is that you wanted to save it as. So I'm going to go in and look at me going in. I need to refresh some of those things. So I designed all the printables in February. And then once I got my pictures from Heika, which was the, I believe, first week of February, I then had to go and put them all in, which when you have 15 or 17 pages on your website took quite a bit of work longer than I thought it would. So I spent a couple of weeks updating all of my pages, like, you know, essential oil business page. So I had all these wire, you know, kind of stock photos, placeholder pictures in here. I had to go and replace all of them. I had 140 pictures to choose from. So I didn't want any of them to repeat. So I had to make sure they, they fit well. I had to make sure I hadn't used them in other places. So it took quite a, you know, a little bit longer than I thought it would. And then I had to create a little bit of a mini launch. And that was for the seven days leading up to March 1st. So last week of uh, February, um, I was on social media posting every day and creating a little bit of excitement. And I also had to write my blog post um, the last week so that you guys all got the, um, not blog post, my email uh, to all of you guys on my email list, and it got uh, it got sent out March first, six a.m. March first, and that's when I officially launched. Um, so that's the timeline of me launching my website. Um, I definitely would recommend using Trello. Um, and what I did is, you'll see, like January, I still haven't added more hidden. I should actually just delete this, so then I have all one hundred percent. Yay! Um, and then February, you'll see I have an entire one. I'm adding extra images for Pinterest on all of my blog posts. And it's taking quite a bit of time. You'll see that I've, I've, I'm done all of these so far, but you'll see I have quite a few other ones to do. So that's what I'm going to work on for the rest of March. And I also have a few pages that just need to be reformatted and um, redirected from my old website. So I just, I hope that this is helpful. So I'm just going to turn back around here so that I have a little bit better lighting. So I hope that that was helpful in helping you guys know that, you know, when you launch something that's as big as a new website or a rebrand of your current website, it's a big project and it's, you're still going to have other work to do. You're not going to be able to just stop working and stop everything in your life so you can do it all at once. Know that it's okay if it's a few months project and it's really nice actually having that time to kind of evolve and maybe some things that you thought were going to be your message at first aren't your message at the end of the day. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today was share it in a video and actually show you the software instead of it written. Uh, know that going forward, uh, I will still be doing written posts, but some of them will actually be more videos. Hopefully my husband and I will be collaborating. He's a professional videographer and I'm hoping to use his services in getting some more um, video, video blogs out or vlogs as the kids say it nowadays. Um, and what I'll be doing is getting these videos transcribed so that you can actually read the entire entire, um, the entire post. So know that my other vlogs, when I come out with them, they're not going to be this long. This is an instructional video. This is probably going on a half an hour long right now. Um, I know this isn't going to be for everyone. Most of my other ones coming forward will be three to five minutes long and hopefully, um, very bite-sized for you guys. But thanks for being here. I wanted to show you that done is better than perfect. I don't have the perfect backdrop. I don't even have an office right now. I don't even have my regular computer. But I really wanted to get this out to you because I had committed 
to um, making sure I had lots of content coming out with two guys in 2018 after my hiatus in 2017 with how busy my business was. So it was important for me to get this to you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, please send them to me by using my contact page and I will see you guys coming up soon.